Africa is a continent full of beauty. Its beauty can be seen through its places and its people. Welcome to the Amazing People of Africa series where we take a look at some of the indigenous people of Africa. We'll be looking at their lifestyle, culture, and getting to learn about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we start, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. As the famous words by Beyonce go, who run the world? Girls. This proves to be so true in a small village in Kenya. Why you may ask? Well, that is because this village is home to only women and no men are allowed. Umoja village is an all-female matriarch village in Samburu, which was founded in 1990. The village was founded by Rebecca Lolosoli, a Samburu woman, as a sanctuary for homeless survivors of violence against women and young girls running from forced marriages. Now, I know many of you think that completely cutting men out of your life might be a bit extreme, but for the women of Umoja village, this was for many reasons the only way to be safe and free. To learn more about the purpose of the village, let's look more at the surroundings. The Samburu usually live in groups of 5 to 10 families, with the men traditionally looking after their homes. They look after the cattle and are responsible for the safety of all tribes. But in the village of Umoja, this is not the norm. Umoja village was created by Rebecca Lolosoli after she was thrown out of her community and beaten by a group of men for speaking out against the practice of FGM, which despite government bans, is still being practiced by some rogue elements in the community. While recovering in hospital, she came up with an idea. An idea to start a village where men were banned and women would live freely and happily. She gathered 14 women who had been victims of gender-based violence and together they created the beautiful village. Umoja means unity in Swahili and best fits the village after the unity shown by the women living there. The village started with 15 women and up to date has a population of more than 50 families. All the ladies of Umoja village are from the Samburu community and range in age with the oldest woman at the age of 98 and the youngest a few months old. Now I am sure you are wondering about women who came with little boys to the village. No, they are not forced away. They live with their mothers until the age of 18 when they will have to move now to another village. The village is well organized. So much so that as a source of income, the women sell necklaces and other beaded work to tourists. They then give the money to the village matriarch who then allocates the money for food to each family based on the number of children per homestead. In addition to selling jewelry, the women also get income by operating a campsite for tourists going on safari to the nearby Samburu National Reserve. The Samburu National Reserve is a game reserve on the bank of Ewasonira River in Kenya and is home to all three big cats, the lion, the cheetah and the African leopard. Exciting, right? In other parts of Samburu society, not all children go to school. Some are forced to engage in tending to livestock and miss out on education opportunities. But in Umoja village, all children get an education. There is a primary school that accommodates up to 50 children and the village also has been able to open a nursery school. Apart from formal education, one of the unique features of the Umoja community is that some of the more experienced residents train and educate women and girls from surrounding villages on issues such as early marriages and FGM. Here, all women in the village have equal status to one another and all women of the village gather under the tree of speech to make decisions for the town when they need to. I know you may be wondering about the men. Well, men are forbidden to live in the village but may visit as long as they behave and abide by the women's rules. In cases where some rogue men try to get into the village with ill intentions, the village has a partnership with local police who provide them with security. Women are allowed to maintain relationships with men outside the village and if a woman chooses to get a baby, she's allowed to visit the neighboring community for a mate. What are your thoughts about today's video? 
Would you like to visit this community and meet with these brave women who are changing their lives one village at a time? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing People of Africa series. It's been me, Linda from Tuna Travel. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you then. And remember, Africa is watching.